What's good, guys? Today is Thursday, October the 22nd, 2020. I want somebody to make this make sense to me. I literally just woke up. And for some reason, this story rolls across my phone as I'm checking my messages. No bond for mother, Simone Austin. Charged after five-year-old Serenity Arrington is stabbed to death in East Garfield Park. This story is from September the 29th, 2020. And I'm not sure why it rolled across today. But I'm glad it did. Because I can't figure it out. Let's get into it. Hell of a hell of a she's so fine. Hell of a hell of a blows my mind. Hell of a hell of a lights my day. All right, so this video and article is courtesy of CBS2 out of Chicago. A woman was ordered held without bond after she was charged with first-degree murder in the stabbing death of her five-year-old daughter on Chicago's west side. Simone Austin, 27, was charged with first-degree murder in the death of her daughter, Serenity Arrington, according to police and Cook County prosecutors. A judge denied her bail at her bond hearing on Monday. Detectives and prosecutors said Austin cut Serenity's throat in front of her eight-year-old sister using a serrated knife. Megan Hickey, who is a reporter with Megan uh, with CBS2 Chicago, says, detect, she tweeted this, Detectives say mother stabbed five-year-old in front of her eight-year-old sister, invoked her right to remain silent upon arrest, should be upon. Simone Austin set to appear in bond court any minute. And she retweeted this uh, article about it. At Austin's bond hearing, prosecutors said Serenity's mother had asked the older girl to leave the room. And she watched through a hole in the doorknob as Austin pulled the knife out from under a pillow and cut Serenity's neck. The sister screamed and then saw Austin stabbing Serenity. Prosecutors said the sister tried to pull Austin off Serenity by her hair. Her grandfather, who was also living in the same apartment, had gone out to get coffee at the time and came back to find the front door locked. When he went to the kitchen door in the back, the daughter told him, quote, her mommy killed her little sister, end quote. Quote, keep that child in your thoughts and prayers because this will obviously be with her for the rest of her life. In quote, said Chicago Police Chief De Chief of Detectives, Brendan Denaham. Prosecutors said the grandfather saw Austin undressing when he got inside the apartment and immediately went out to the porch as the older sister ran outside yelling that her mom had killed her sister. Mm. That is Simone Austin. That's when Austin brought Serenity outside and laid her down on the grass. Neighbors saw her bleeding profusely from a gash in her throat and heard her mother apologizing, saying, quote, She shouldn't have done this, end quote, prosecutor said. Paramedics rushed Serenity to Stroger Hospital of Cook County, where she was later pronounced dead from multiple stab wounds. Prosecutors said one of her wounds to her throat went almost completely through to the back of her neck. That's serenity. The Illinois Department of Children and Family Services has been called to the home in the past, but the details were not immediately available. Quote, we've had previous calls there for domestic violence where the mother was the victim of domestic violence and other people in the family called, end quote. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said on Monday. Superintendent Brown said Chicago Police would send us more information about domestic violence related calls, 
but as of late Monday, we had not received the information we, requ we requested. Prosecutors said Serenity's older sister told investigators about a previous incident when she saw her walking around with a knife because the little girl had spilled some eggs on the porch. Austin does not have a prior criminal background, officials said. Her defense attorney said she dropped out of high school and her parents were living on the street. She worked at Walmart until May of 2020 where she stocked shelves. There is no indication that she has ever harmed her children before. Neighbors said they saw Serenity just the other day and now they can't believe she is gone. They described her as happy and friendly. Quote, it's just sad, just out of nowhere, end quote, said neighbor Jose Malahar. Malhar. Quote, I, I seen her just yesterday and today in the morning she's gone. It's just sad, end quote. It is not clear what led to the stabbing. But Austin walked up to officers and was taken into custody at the scene. Detectives earlier said they were investigating to see if Austin has a history of mental illness. Quote, detectives are looking into that, so they're touching base with that and with DCFS and everything else, end quote, said Pol Police News Affair Officer Jose Hara. Austin invoked her right to remain silent once police arrived. So, specific explanations about a motive have not been released. Meanwhile, a representative of the Maryville Crisis Nursery spoke alongside police Monday to talk about free short-term care for parents in distress and experiencing a crisis. The Maryville representative talked about how since the reopening to Phase 3 amid the coronavirus pandemic in the city, their crisis nursery has seen an increase in the number of calls. The crisis nursery is urging parents who are feeling stressed to get the help that they need. Austin's next hearing is set for October the 19th, which was just a couple of days ago. So, let's look at this girl's Facebook page. Because the first thing I thought instantly was mental illness. But I'm not so sure. I'm really not so sure. So this is her. That's her profile picture. That this was taken in May. And these are the kids. Serenity in the front. This girl's had a rough life. Um, she dropped out of school when she was, I think, a freshman. She was homeless at that point. Her father was in jail. When her father got out, which would be the grandfather to the kids, that's when she moved with him. He wanted her there. So let's just take a peek. 1,019 friends. Her very last post on May the 7th says, I'm bad. With a devil emoji. It has 339 comments. I can only imagine. I'm just going to click and just read through a couple. I'm trying not to let the disgust come through in my voice. I really am. So somebody post this picture. Of her and her daughter that is now gone. Free my baby from her daddy. So is this a bitter baby mama situation? She posted this on July the 16th, 2019. Serenity, Mommy missed you. Happy birthday. Yeah, that second one, second child looks so mad in that picture. Or sad or mad. With her arms folded, that's a sure sign. She's just a child. And the older one just... Barely even looking at the camera. So 
somebody says, hope they hang you. She had to be mad at the baby father. Damn, baby, how you go out like that instead of taking your own damn life. You tried warning the world. This woman says she mad the father took the baby and, and I'm pretty sure he didn't want dealings with her. So that's why she killed her. If she was mentally ill, she would have told them what happened and they would have been able to tell she was crazy. The B ain't said shit because she knows she's wrong as a MF 100. This woman says, With all respect to everyone suffering or experiencing mental illnesses, I work in acute psych, which is some of the highest acuity of mental illness. You cannot compare one mental illness and its severity to the next. I see folks saying, quote, PTSD, end quote, which is a form of depression. I see, quote, bipolar, end quote, which is mania, depression, and sometimes psychosis. But I haven't seen one person say that they are severely schizophrenic or is untreated schizophrenic. These are the individuals that suffers from disorganized thoughts, hallucinations, like hearing voices with commands. Some voices tell people to harm themselves and others. Some schizophrenics see things that aren't there or smell things that aren't there. Sometimes the voices are so loud that they commit suicide. One patient told me it feels like the devil is winning every day. One patient had to be escorted to see his kids because his voices commanded him to kill his kids. Mental illness is real and unfortunate sometimes. Sometimes it takes years of medication adjustments to treat schizophrenia. Not saying this is the case for her, but no one in their right mind with a normal chemical balance will do this. Some schizophrenics are not diagnosed until adulthood because it wasn't triggered until then. And I'm not sure who that is. Now this post really struck, struck me. January 3rd of this year. I want a son... But I don't want the nut in me part. 100. Sorry to be vulgar. This woman says, How the hell can you talk about wanting another child? Whole time you had hate in your heart. Jealous of your five-year-old baby. Because she had a good relationship with her dad. Mm -hmm. Y'all sick. The devil really got y'all mind to think, to actually think and go through with that sick mess. Someone says what you all don't get. It's demonic possession. single mother pandemic. Mm. On December 27, 2019, a lot of people chose the streets. I had no other choice. 100. There she is again. That's from November 18th, 2019. And there's that picture from July 29th, 2019. How could you? Mm. the two uh, girls in the back are dressed exactly alike 
and Serenity is dressed really cute. With even the jewels in her hair. That's so sad. With a birthday bag. Yep, something's off with that picture. You can tell it, it's rolled all over the kid's face. That's as far as it lets me go on this page. I'm going to go take a look at the um, father of that child, his um, girlfriend's page. So here's what the father's girlfriend says on September 27th. This is a face of a person that know right from wrong. Look at her. I can't believe y'all justifying her killing that effing baby. F going to the hospital. We tried to help you, but you was being so spiteful trying to hurt Greg. But then you kill her? I'm sorry, ain't no passes given from me. You're dead wrong, period. You could have gave her to somebody else if you ain't one give her back to us. You killed her in the meanest way possible like you never loved her. Like you hated her for some... Or some. F depression. Now my baby just gone. Gone at five years old. And that is the father's girlfriend. She posted this. This is my daughter. Somebody tell me some different. Anybody. I cared for her like I birthed her. On Imani. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Christian, so sorry. I ignored them signs. Serenity, come back, please. Come back to me, baby damn. She posted this on September 28th. We tried to keep y'all as close as possible when all our heads were screwed tight and we realized it's bigger than us. I did my part. I put my whole life on the line for y'all to know each, to know each, I guess, other. I know how important sibling bonds are. Rock not gonna believe his sis scene is gone. I've never underestimated y'all from understanding nothing. I know he gonna have a thousand questions, but I'm ready to start the process. We really love you, girl, without a doubt. A baby girl. Damn. Mm. Wow. She posted on October 7th, 2nd, and we vowed on that. I was on your side, heartbroken. 
I can't believe this whole situation. And she reposted a um, post from Simone Austin and that says Serenity and King. <clears throat> so this is another Facebook page that Simone Austin had. I just clicked on that. And that's the profile picture on that. And that's her cover photo. Wow. July 24th, 2019. Feel good. I have my three, <clears throat> excuse me, Migos back together. Good morning. She posted on July 23rd, 2019. Everything Serenity says about her daddy. She posted on July the 23rd, 2019, my first love, my mother, my world, happy birthday. I love you with everything in me and I couldn't express it more because this love stronger than earth core. Somebody said, now it all makes sense. Look at the mama. So that's her in the floor, and that's her mama right there. Why do I get so many random text messages from different businesses? I need to unsubscribe to all that mess. Never fails when I'm making a video. <laughs> Wow. She posted on July 22nd, 2019. I don't trust no MF, but my kids and the little one, Iffy. Yeah, she meant this too. Mm. July 22nd, 2019. I miss me, that happy me, my energy, my smile, my glow. I have to get that back. Well, that's out.
Here's the post. Free my baby from her daddy. Real mothers and daughters. So she, that's the outfit that those girls were in, um, in the picture where everything looks funny on the faces of the kids. Meanwhile, she's in a see-through bralette. Come on, man. Got to do better. July 17, 2019. I want to go sit in my car for the AC, but my kids going to want to go. Hashtag, I hate it here. Stuff like that just pisses me off. That's her little girl at her birthday party. Why these kids not smiling exactly? Waiting on the birthday girl. So I guess her daddy had her and had to bring her to the party. So makes a girl, what the hell you have on? My mama Candy said it was cute. A brawl, a see through bralette at your kid's birthday party. Not to mention some damn see through white pants. Where is the... Man, these kids are growing up seeing some foolery. Happy birthday to my mean-ass baby girl, Serenity. I 
I don't know what to say, but I miss Serenity. It's been six months. Her birthday party tomorrow. I'm about to shower her in gifts. While they give her back to you. Right. I'm going to end this video on this note. I hope you guys have a great day.